Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 22nd of October, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint John Paul II. Saint John Paul II, whom we know as Pope John Paul II. He was born as Karol Wojciwa, Karol Joseph Wojciwa. He was born in Poland and uh, to a very devout parents. He is known as one of the longest serving popes because he became pope in 1978 and he was a pope till 2005. And he is known as a pope who impacted the world, the modern world to the best. Cardinal Karl Joseph Wojciwa, Archbishop of Krakow, was elected as pope on October 16. 1978. This made history because he was the first non-Italian in 400 years. He was the first Polish person to become Pope and his determination was to bring the Vatican II to fruits. Born in Wadowice, Poland on 18th May 1920, the youngest of the three children of Karol Wojciwa and Emilia Krachowa. He received his first Holy Communion when he was 9 and he received his confirmation when he was 18. After which he wanted to join uh, the university and during that time 1938 he joined the university. 1939 the war, World War II began and that's how uh, the Hitler's Nazi army they took over Poland. And he had to go underground and do his studies underground. In 1942, he joined the seminary, uh, the candle, clandestine seminary, that is hidden seminary, major seminary. And there, after uh, everything, after education, uh, in 1946, he became a priest. The same year when the, when the war ended. And by the end of it, he also did his uh, uh, theology uh, and uh, he did his paperwork on St. John of the Cross and after which uh, he was because of his, his impact that he had through his words, he was made the Auxiliary Bishop of Krakow in 1958 and then he was made uh, the Archbishop uh, in the same year. And then uh, he had a huge hand in the Apostolic Constitu Constitution, Gautam et Spes, in writing of that uh, he had a huge hand. And then in 19, from 1962 to 1965, uh, in the Vatican II Council, he was also one of its members. And then John Paul II, right, he is known for his international papal journeys. He roamed about the whole world. Right? And then uh, many times, not once. And then John Paul II beatified around 1338 people and uh, he canonized more than 51 of them. Uh, and his principal writings were his encyclicals, 14 encyclicals, 15 apostolic exhortations and 11 constitutions and 15 apostolic letters. Along with this, he has his own theology of body. We have a study called Theology of Body according to Pope John Paul II. Uh, he promulgated the Code of Canon Law, the Catechism of the Catholic Church and then the Year of Redemption, the Great Jubilee Year of 2000. Uh, he also wrote five books and he, he was the one who was instrumental in adding the fourth mystery. The, the luminous set of mysteries uh, and he also introduced the world with the feast of the divine mercy. In the year 1981, on 3rd May, uh, an attempt to his life was done by Muhammad Ali Akka and we know how, how well he a saint, how well he, he was the one who went and met, met his uh, the one who assassin, the one who wanted to kill him. He went and met Muhammad Ali Akka in the prison and forgave him. So he stands to the world as a symbol of forgiveness. And dear brothers and sisters, uh, Pope John Paul II, someone whom I remember seeing from my childhood as a frail person. He, uh, he had Parkinson's also. Therefore, he, he used to shiver. But his strength was so, so huge. 
his strength was so, so huge. Uh, so dear brethren, in the year 2005, on the eve of the Feast of Divine Mercy, he finally breathed his last and went back to God. And then immediately, within years, he was, he was beatified and he was, uh, he was canonized as a saint. He was canonized as a saint in the later years. Uh, and today we know him as a saint. Someone who was with us, around us, is a saint now. So we pray to Saint John Paul II that he also may teach us. He saw the modern world as we see. He saw all the things of the modern world. But he did not get lost into the modernity of the modern world. So we pray that we may also not get lost into the things of the world, but stand strong. He was weak, old, but not weak in spirit. And that's how he is saint today. God bless us all. Amen.